Hello, today we're going to talk about how to toggle full screen in Raylib. Alright, so this shouldn't be too hard, right? We've got a little sample project here. It's going to draw a little picture in a window. We've got our little guy here. So if we want to make this work full screen, we should just be able to go if is key pressed key underscore space toggle full screen we that that should work so we just press f5 this will be the shortest video we've ever made we're gonna run our thing. We're gonna press, wait, what? What happened? Where did everything go? Why does everything look all weird? What the frick? All right, so that was weird. It didn't work. We called toggle full screen. That should have taken our small window, then made it full screen and made it fill the entire screen. That's what happens, right? No, that's not what happens. We think that toggle full screen makes our window full screen. It does not. What it actually does is it resizes your display to match your window. So instead of toggling the window, it actually toggles the screen. So your screen resolution will be reduced to match your window. And since your monitor can't physically get any smaller, everything gets blown up and looks weird because it's being stretched to fit your actual monitor. Okay, so how can we fix this? Since toggle full screen resizes the monitor to fit the window, we need to make sure that the window is the size we want before we call it. So to do that, we will resize the window to fit the monitor first. We can do this with a couple simple steps. First, you get the size of the monitor that we're on. Then we set the window to be that size. Then we call toggle full screen. At that point, the monitor will try to fit the window. The window will be the size of the monitor and everything will be fine. It'll just make it a full screen window at your native resolution. To go back, we basically do the same steps backwards. We toggle full screen to get us out of full screen into regular view. Then we resize the window back to whatever size we wanted before. So let's take a look at what this looks like in code. We can write a little function that will handle our full screen for us. So we've got a little function here called toggle full screen window. It's not the regular toggle full screen. It's going to toggle the window to be full screen. Uh, what we need to know as input is what will the window width and window height be when we're not in full screen because uh, we'll need that when we go back. So the first thing we do here is we first check say are we currently not full screen. If we're not full screen we need to go full screen. So we get our monitor. This will tell us what monitor the upper left hand corner of the window is on. Then we can set our window size to equal that monitor size. So that tells us we get the monitor width and the monitor height. Now we can toggle full screen. So since the window has been resized to the actual monitor height, this will cause the full screen window to match the actual monitor's resolution. If we were full screen, that means we want to come out of full screen, so we have to do everything backwards. So we're going to first toggle full screen to go from full screen back to our regular window desktop mode. Then we're going to restore the window size back to the actual size that we wanted with window width and window height. So down here when we called our checked for our key, we just change to toggle full screen window and pass in the sizes we want. Now if we run bring our little window over and press space we can toggle back and forth between full screen nothing gets stretched nothing gets screwy the last thing we need to talk about is how to get the actual screen size uh, when you're in full screen calling get screen height and get screen width will not actually give you the full resolution of the window because you're in full screen mode uh, you actually need to get the monitor so what you'll need to do is create a couple little functions, which I have examples of here, uh, get display width and get display height. If you are full screened, find the monitor you're on and get the monitor width. 
If you're not, then use the screen width. It's only valid to use get screen width and get screen height when is window full screen is false. So you'll need some functions like that if you actually need to know how big your si window is. That's the basics of toggling full screen. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, you can subscribe because we try to make more when we can. And if you have any questions or comments, please come to us at the Raylib Discord at the link on the screen. Thank you.